In Creole Parametric 12.4, yes, the new desktop version of Creole Parametric is 12.4, not 12.0. There are some major enhancements to the import of step files to support multi-body. And this is interesting because just three and a half months ago from the recording of this video, I released another video called Inseparable Assemblies Workflow for Purchased Items and this makes that whole workflow much easier. I'm actually going to import the same step model I did in that video. So anyhow, here I am in Creo Parametric 12.4. Let me click on the open button. And in my working directory, I have a whole bunch of different parts from an assembly that has a step file. Let me go to the drop down list for the type and I'm going to change this to step so I can find the file that I want to import. So here it is, I will click on the import button and in the dialog box, it recognized that this has multiple different components or multiple different bodies. So we get the default type here of assembly. And here is the profile that I set up in a previous video. First, let's go to the new details button here and if you go into the import profile dialog box on the topology tab, there is a new option here to maintain the multi-body structure of assembly components. And so that means that if you have a component that has multi-body, in other words, it contains multiple bodies, then it will retain that as a single part with multiple bodies. When this is not checked, that means that the multiple bodies will be exploded into a bunch of individual components. And there's also a config.pro option that controls this. And I'll mention this later on in this video. But anyhow, I'm not going to change this. Let me click the cancel button to get out of the import profile. There is another new option here to add the imported model to a new Creo assembly. I am not going to do that, but again, I'll show this in a different video. And I need to turn off the option permanently to generate log files because I never do that. But here's the thing. I don't want to import this as an assembly because it will bring in literally almost a hundred components. I just want to bring this in as a single part that I'm going to manage in my data management system. I'm never going to use the individual components from this purchased component. So anyhow, let me change this to part. Let me change the name of the file. I'll call it F40-001. Just make sure I have a unique name. And so this is good. Now when I click the OK button, it is going to import the part. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay, so the part is imported. It looks just like it did in the other video that I made. But let's take a look at the model tree. We have the import feature. We have gotten that before in previous versions when importing. But let me expand design items. Here we can see that we have 86 bodies. So now when you are importing either an assembly step file or a multi-body part, you can import it as a multi-body part. We're getting a part with multiple different part bodies in here. So that way we only have one file, a single part file that we need to manage in our data management system like Windchill. Okay, so let me show you a few of the other different related options here. So first off, let me go to File, Options, and Options. And so on the left here, we have our Data Exchange category. And here we have our different profiles. Let me go to the Import and Open Profiles. I'm going to change the drop-down list to Step so I can go to Setup, Import, and what was the other option? Oh yeah, open profiles. Once again, from the topology tab, we have this maintain multi-body multi structure of assembly components option. So this is another place that you can get to it. You can set it up in your profiles. And let's take a look at a few new config.pro options. So let me go to my configuration editor. 
Let me click on the Find button. And I'm going to search on the keyword step and click on Find Now. And we have a few different options in here. Let me make the dialog box wider to help you see the various different descriptions. And the first one that we're going to take a look at, let's go to the ones that start with step. Let me make this column a bit wider. So we have step multi-body part import type. So this sets the default import model type when opening a step multi-body part. The default is assembly, but we can change that option to part. So again, if you are trying to import a step file that was a multi-body part, you can, you can have it automatically default to opening as a part file instead of assembly like we saw when I tried to open this earlier. Similarly, there is the option here to import assemblies as parts. So step assembly import type well, the default is assembly, but you can set it up so that step assemblies are automatically imported as parts. And the third option to mention is step add import model to assembly. Well, it controls whether the imported model is assembled to a native crew assembly as its first component. And the default value there is no, but you could change that to yes. So there you have it. Those are some of the enhancements to step import in Creo Parametric 12.4.